In this video, I'm going to present to you about 24 different uses of IBC totes. Okay, so number one, one of the uses for IBC totes is as a compost bin. That's what we're using ours as. Uh, you can see here, if you look in here, you got all sorts of like rotting stuff from our garden. Another awesome use for IBC tote, and I'm actually planning on getting some used IBC totes that stored chemicals and then removing the bottle and then using this metal frame to hold firewood. A lot of people do that. And you can basically just cut out some of the metal here uh, to make it go down a couple rungs. And then it makes it really easy to, you know, reach in to the bottom and put in stack firewood and take it out. And then, you know, if you have a forklift, you could even lift and transport a ton of firewood all at the same time. Another use for IBC tote could be to have, you know, a fish tank. You could have an aquaponic system that takes the water from the fish tank to feed your garden. Another great use for IBC tote is as rainwater collection. The water can just go, you know, into PVC pipes, then go into the bucket and are stored there. And then when you need the water, you just go to the bottom of the IBC tote and you kind of open up the little faucet down there into a hose or whatever and water whatever you need to. Another use would be to convert an IBC tote into a hot tub, you know, fill it full of water and then put some sort of heating element that's not gonna electrocute you. You can also use IBC totes as like a dog house or as maybe, I don't know, probably not big enough for like a chicken coop per se, but you could use it as like a brooding box for baby chicks. You could also convert it into a rabbit cage or hutch. I've seen at least one person who has used it as like kind of like a carry basket where you know you put it on like some sort of a tractor on the end say if you have an orchard with really high up fruit then you could have you know an adult standing in it you know this would be a very large uh raised garden bed but i mean you could hack it into maybe two different pieces and have two different raised garden beds that are each you know a couple feet high i've seen one person who converted a couple ibc totes stacked on top of each other into like a shower house. You could use it as a septic tank to store, you know, human waste. You could put this inside the ground and make it into kind of a little small little duck pond. I've seen some people who have converted IBC totes for outdoor lighting at events. You know, you put some lights in here, this kind of white and clear, you know, plastic material kind of glows and it has this kind of nice pleasant glowing look. Another thing you could do is you could, con you know, take out this plastic part and you could maybe cut some of these rungs, make a little, make them a little bit bigger if needed, depending on what livestock you have and, and make a hay feeder, you know, load this full of hay and then let the animals help themselves. I've also seen these totes be used as mobile drink stands. Another use for this could be to convert it into a hunting blind where, you know, spray it with camouflage paint and then, you know, maybe stack two on top of the other, have a little opening where you'd be able to shoot from. Obviously, you can use IBC totes for fertilizer or paint or for storing any kind of liquid, uh, maybe pesticide. Uh, a lot of those uses are what these IBC totes are used for, right? Another thing I've seen someone do is use the bottom of the IBC tote plastic to make a massive paver, like a concrete paver. Another thing you can do with IBC tote, you can put it up, you know, a little bit in the air and then have it operate kind of like a water tower where the water just uses gravity to come out more easily. You know, if you're living off the grid, if you have a cabin or something, you know, you could have your waste from the toilet go into a big bin like this and then maybe throw in some peat moss or other things and kind of use it as a composting toilet. You could also potentially use, you know, a food grade IBC tote that's clean. You might be able to store sap in there from a bunch of trees that you pour into here and then transport it to where you boil the sap to make syrup. Obviously, you could use IBC tote for water storage. Uh, I'm planning on using a few IBC totes probably to store here at the top of our orchard. So if we ever need to, we'll have, you know, hundreds of gallons, you know, 700 gallons of water to be able to water our orchard. You know, even if this wasn't very good to drink after it's stored for a long time, you could still use it for washing maybe or, or flushing the toilet or you could sanitize it with some bleach or boil it. What else can you do with IBC totes? What have you seen done? Go ahead and comment below. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more videos about homesteading and preparedness, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you next time.